Hello and welcome to the M7 Innovation Brief. I'm your host, Matt Marr, and last week we discussed tips and tricks to thrive in a virtual work from home environment. In this episode, we're going to shift to trends. There has been a rapid change in consumer behavior in the last few weeks, and while the uncertainty of the situation is causing marketers to freeze most of their advertising efforts, I wanted to share the numbers and nuances of these quickly evolving behaviors. So let's get into the three categories where we're seeing a big impact. This one isn't a shock, but let's talk numbers. Steam Network broke gaming records with 20 million concurrent players on its platform at the same time. YouTube gaming traffic is up 15% in the last two weeks, while Twitch viewership is up 10%. Gaming has a classic flywheel effect. A spike in concurrent players means more competitive matches at the top, which results in increased viewership of those gaming streams, which then results in more of an appetite to get back in and play more. Next up, let's talk cooking and a trend bouncing around the world. First, in China, minimal ingredients were forcing people to get creative with recipes as they cooked from home. Google Trends data prove this. Then, this trend jumped to Europe and now America as related cooking and recipe searches also increased. This is the convergence of two trends. One, it's obvious that in a quarantine situation, home cooking might increase, but it goes hand in hand with the increased appetite for long form digital content. Attention spans have whittled down year after year, but that was when we were time poor. And this new work from home reality not only grants us more time, but it requires structure. So on demand, long form content becomes an activity that's sought out. And lastly, let's talk about the only user interface that doesn't require you to touch anything, voice. A recent report from DAX shows smart speaker listening increased 27% in the US last week, and intelligent agents like Google Assistant have added coronavirus tips, a hand washing timer, and more robust news on the outbreak. Audio here is bifurcating. While radio listening is down as our daily commute is frozen, podcast listening is staying strong and smart speaker usage is actually increasing. And it makes sense. Vocal assistants are both a real-time outside link to the world and a hands-free UI that you can interact with while you're multitasking and doing things like, say, washing your hands. The adoption of vocal assistants has grown at a steady clip for years and this new reality makes that curve trend upward even more. Well, that's all the time that we have for the M7 Innovation Brief. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next week.